10 Steps for Managing Chemicals in Schools. All schools have a legal responsibility to safely manage the risks associated with chemicals stored and used on the school site. So let's take a look at 10 steps for managing chemicals at your school. Decide who is responsible for key tasks and plan action. Appoint a person or team to oversee the use and storage of chemicals at your school to ensure all legal requirements are met. Set up a plan that outlines what needs to be done, by whom and when. Identify all chemicals used and stored on the school site so that you can work out which chemicals are hazardous or dangerous goods. Obtain and review safety data sheets, SDS. An SDS, previously called a Material Safety Data Sheet or MSDS, provides information on the properties of hazardous chemicals and how they affect health and safety in the workplace. It is an important source of information to reference when making decisions on managing associated risks. Check that all chemicals are adequately labelled and arrange for chemical waste disposal if required. Labels and package markings identify a product and provide all the relevant information on the hazards, plus instructions and details on the safe storage, handling, use and disposal of the chemical. Arrange for a chemical waste disposal company to remove obsolete and excess stock levels of chemicals, chemicals that are deteriorating, leaking or crystallising and damaged containers or those without labels or lids. Set up a chemical register for all chemicals used and stored on the school site. A register is a list of hazardous chemicals at your school, accompanied by the current SDS for each of those chemicals. This is required under the work health and safety regulations to be prepared, kept up to date and readily accessible to all workers. Registers and SDS may be kept electronically, provided workers have ready access to a computer. A hard copy should be kept in the location where chemicals are mostly used, as well as at the front office. Ensure appropriate storage areas are provided for chemicals. These include locked storage rooms, flame-proof cabinets, flammable items and gas cylinders stored away from ignition sources, and other impact risks, just to name a few. Assess the risks associated with chemicals used and stored and develop safe work procedures for substances with a high or extreme rating. Display appropriate signage, highlighting the hazardous nature of chemicals used or stored on site. Regularly inspect and maintain safety equipment such as fire extinguishers, fire blankets and exhaust ventilation fans. Train staff in the correct use of chemicals and keep appropriate training records. Here are some further strategies to use at your school. Reduce the volume of chemicals and ask for an SDS before purchasing any new chemical. Prevent access to cleaners' cupboards, maintenance sheds and other storage areas by unauthorised staff, students or members of the public. Ask contractors to provide current SDSs for chemicals that they use or store on site and ensure there are no ignition sources in areas where dangerous goods are stored. For more information, please visit www.cecv.catholic.edu.au.